Now let's first understand what Newton Leibniz for formula says. Let's say I have an integral ix given by this phi x is ix okay I have been given this definite integral What Newton Leibniz formula states is that the differentiation of ix is equal to f put this psi x first, this part first into d by dx psi of x differentiation of this term minus phi of Psi x. Now I am putting this term into differentiation of this term. So this is what Newton Leibniz formula states. And we'll be using this formula. Whenever in the limits we'll see an integral sign, we'll try to apply this formula. Let's see how we'll do that. Let's take an example. Let's say I have asked you to evaluate this limit. Let's say I have asked you to evaluate this limit. This might seem a bit complicated to you now, but this is not that complicated. It's very simple. Let's first simplify this. The denominator I'll have 5. The numerator I'll have Three x, x cube, right? Now you see if I put x zero, zero to zero limit. So this is zero, this is zero, this is zero, this is zero. So it's of the form zero by zero. So since this is of the form zero by zero, I can apply L Hospital's rule. So if I apply L Hospital's rule, I'll get d by d of Okay, now to evaluate this expression, we'll be using the Newton Leibniz formula. Okay, so let's erase portion this one and let's see what this expression turns out to be. So, to have this my phi of x is what? It's x here, my xi of x is what? This phi, this xi of x is 0 here. So this lets this expression be y, so y will be equal to f of phi x or phi x is x here into differentiation of phi x which is 1 minus f of xi x which is 0 in this case into differentiation of 0 is 0 only. So now for f of x I'll put this is fx, so I'll put instead of minus t square I'll put x. So I'll get minus e to minus x square 
and this is zero. So y is e to the power minus x square. So this expression turns out to be y is e to the power minus x square. Okay. So this expression gets simplified as three e to the power minus x square minus three plus three x square. By fifteen x to the power four. So I have simplified the question to this form. Now again, if I put zero, this of the form zero by zero, right? So again, I can apply L hospitals rule. Now, if I apply L hospitals rule, I'll get three x to the power minus x square into minus two x. This is zero plus six x by sixty x cube. Now I can take minus six x common here, so I'll get e to the power minus x square minus one sixty x cube. So I'll cancel x here, so I'll get minus six. Okay. So what I have got is what I have got from here is. One by ten, e to the power minus x square, minus one, by minus one by the minus sign. Minus sign is here, so I have put it here. Now you see that I have to evaluate this limit. Now you know the standard result that e to the power x minus one by x limit x approaches zero is one. So if I take x square as y. So this will get converted minus x square as y. Let's take so this is convert get converted to e to the power y minus one by y, right? Which is equal to one in this case. So the limiting value will be one by ten. So this is the solution. The answer is one by ten. Now, now let's take an example in this category also, which has been asked in IIT J. We'll take a question which was asked in IIT J, nineteen ninety-seven. The question is evaluate limit x approaches zero This is of the form zero by zero for sure. So I'll differentiate this first. I'll get d by dx this integral, and here I'll get x cos x plus sin x. Now to evaluate this integral, differentiation of that will use Newton-Leibniz formula. So what I'll get is cos of x square whole square into t by dx x square minus this here will be getting zero. By x cos x plus sine of x. So here I'll get two x x to the power four. Okay. Now let's take x common. And cancel that. So in the denominator, I'll get cos x plus sine x by x. So I have to evaluate this limit. Now, if x approaches zero, you know that sine x by x approaches one. So this is one. Cos x also approaches one, so this is one. And sine x to the power four will also approach one, because if I put x zero, cos zero is one. So it's nothing but two into one by one plus one. So the answer is one. Two by divided by two is one. Okay, so now we move on to the last category, which is the last category, and after complete the last category, we'll complete this topic of limits. The last category is how to find summation of series. Now.
using definite integral. Let's say I have been asked to find the summation of this. What I can do is I can say that this is equal to dx. So what we'll be doing is we'll replace the summation sign is replaced by the integral sign. The r by n here is replaced by x and a is limit n approaches infinity phi x by n and my b is limit n approaches infinity psi x by n. So if I am given an equation like this and I have been asked to find the summation of that we can convert it to a definite integral by appropriately choosing a b x like that. So let's try this question which will make our concept on summation of series using definite integral more clear. The question is this. Infinity. So this is the question. This question, I have been asked to find the value of the summation. So what I'll do is, I'll try to convert this to a definite integral of the form a by b, a b f x dx. First of all, you know that I have to have a term of r by n so that I can replace this with x, 1 by n so that I can replace this with dx. So let's divide and the numerator and denominator by n. So I'll get this. Okay. N. Now, this is r by n, I can replace this with x. So this becomes x by x square and this 1 by n, I can replace this with dx summation I can replace this with integral. Now I need to find the value of a and b. You know what is a? a was phi of x by n, n approaches infinity. So what is phi in this case? phi is 1, so 1 by n, as n approaches infinity this will become 0, so the first limit is 0. What is b? To find b, I need to take 2n by n and then I have to put the limit n approaches infinity so, so this is 2 so this integration turns out to be integration from 0 to 2 x by root under 1 plus x square okay now what is the integration of this the integration of this is what it's root under 1 plus x square and now I need to put the limit of 0 to 2 so I'll get root 5 when I put 2 it's get coming root 5 and when I put 0 it come 1 so this is the answer root 5 minus 1 so I hope you understand how to solve questions where we have to find the value of summation where n approaches infinity and we have been given some limits. Now let's take the last question and then we'll end this discussion on limits. The last question of our discussion. limit n approaches infinity ok 
Okay, I have to find the value of this limit. What is this? This I can write it as summation of n by n square plus r square, where r is from one to n and n is approaching infinity. Right? Now again to convert this to an integral form i have to somehow introduce r by n and 1 by n right so let's see how we can do that let's take 1 by n common if i take 1 by n common we have n square by n square plus r square right and the same summation and all is there now Let's divide by this n square numerator and denominator. So I'll get 1 plus 1 by r square by n square. So that's it. I have got rid of or I have introduced r by n here. I have introduced 1 by n. So I can write this as 1 plus x square dx. I now I need to find the value of the limits of the integral. First is psi x is 1 by n and approaches infinity. This becomes 0. Next is psi x. Sorry, this is a, which is psi x, phi x by n. This is b. b will be what? It's n by n, n approaches infinity, so this is 1. So, 0 to 1. What's integration of 1 by 1 plus x square? For now, you can know that it's tan inverse x. We'll see this when we study integrals. Now, I need to put limits of 0 and 1. When I put 1, it comes at pi by 4. When I put 0, it's 0. So, the answer is pi by 4. So that's it. We have completed the topic limits. We have completed a discussion on this topic. And now it's your task to solve more and more problems on limits. If you have any problem, you can post the question on our forum. I hope you know the link to our forum. The link to our forum is www.collegepedia.in forum. Thank you.